Greetings and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be having a look at Colonized. This is a new upcoming colony simulator game uh, planned to be released later this year. So yeah, let's dive into it. Hopefully it's going to be a good game. So this will be the first impressions video. Uh, we'll start We'll start by with the tutorial. Let's just learn how to actually play this game. I don't believe it's going to be much different than other types of colony simulators. Uh, so yeah, welcome governor. The first colony is where about survival in the wild and inhospitable environment of New England. That's where frequently caused by hunger and many diseases. In our game, Colonize, we try to bring the difficult lives of the first colonists closer to modern day. Okay, so, are you the governor of the first permanent successful colony, Plymouth, but success and survival were not certain for the first years following its establishment. Your job as a governor is to take care of your people so that they have always enough food, warm clothes and most importantly income to repay our debt to home company that paid for the trip. Okay, so we have some Native Americans that are advising us. So let's start building the colony. So WASD, move around. And also you can use the arrows, key, arrow keys as well. Uh, also just move around with the, with the mouse. And zoom in and out. Okay, quick navigation. Go on the minimap. This is the, the ship. Uh, rotate with Q and E. Okay. So far, pretty straightforward. Zooming in and out. Okay, open the building window. So what do we need to build now? We need to build... Cutters. So we can rotate them. Do we have any... Is it the forest over here? So let's... Let's place them... Okay, so we can do fine adjustments. This is good. Place a new building near the warehouse. Okay. And let's move on to building a farm. Near the warehouse as well. So let's do it in the back over here. Where's the road? Let's do it. Like this. Hmm. Can change the working hours of the warehouse. Okay, this is interesting. So move the red arrow by clicking. So for 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. So this is. Hold on. From... Yes, but we can't move the... Oh, there we go. <coughs> Perfect. Change the game speed. They use the keys 1, 2, and 3. That's basic. And there's no... No hotkey for pausing. Okay, wait for the buildings to be... To be built. Awesome.
I quite like the fact that they show part of the building process, so you don't just have buildings raising up from from the ground, which is good. So let's select the cellar. Right, so now you have reduced the number of workers in the cellar. Workers you have you fired have already found a new job. So what's here? I'll select random citizen by clicking his name. Pick him. And the worker free slot. Okay. So we can choose a crop to plant. So what we have here, we have corn, wheat, barley, tobacco, and potatoes. Uh, it's good. Oh. Awesome. Let's watch the farmer at work. So there she goes. Let's speed up a little bit. Okay. It's quite nice that they have those small little details. I always, always appreciate this uh, about any game. Okay, she needs a well for crops. So we need to build a well. And okay, so there is... We have a water system. So we'll just try and place that over there. I think the purpose of the roads, they don't seem to favor a certain path, but I think if you build roads, they might move faster on the roads. Yes, you'll get your wealth, don't worry. There we go. Okay, so we need to build houses now. We have dwellings. Our house, cellar, okay, dwellings. So we go here. And... Let's place it near here. Near the cellar. Alright. That looks pretty cool. All the scaffolding and things. Okay, let's see if a couple has moved in. New residents have occupied a new house. If they're happy enough, they'll have a family. Some buildings have a circle of influence over happiness of colonists, so be careful not to build them near their homes. Right. Health, happiness, and energy change over the course of their lifetimes. The most important, they change according to your actions as governor. You have to provide them with enough food and rest and a pleasant environment. Be careful, because if the hunger level drops to zero, the colonist dies. So, we do have a bunch of resources here, so we do have some food. We should be fine. We should be fine for now. Uh, right, anyway, uh, let's do the next thing. So, let's trade. A trading window. Let's sell 25 or more leathers. Uh, where is leather? This is leather, I presume. Yes. So we can sell 25 leathers. And uh, we get gold. or And we can buy some things. But we can't buy... It doesn't seem that we can buy any type of food. So we can buy wood, firewood, planks and stone. And we can sell leather, wood, wheat and tobacco. Okay, let's sell this. Let's build a pig farm and buy a couple of piglets. So back to here. And this is the the pig farm. Try and place it over here. Wait for the workers to start doing their things. Let's 
so far, the game doesn't seem to be too complicated. I did say the same when I was playing uh, Banished and Frostpunk. And it didn't end up to be to be quite easy. So yeah, so let's select the pig farm and we can buy piglets. We need four piglets, there we go. We need the farmer to take care of the piglets. You seem to have a lot of workers in the warehouse. So let's select one and let's select a worker. Okay, we'll pick him up and go to the pig farm. I need to put him over there. Okay. So far, so good. So let's construct a few roads. Help them move quicker, yes. That's exactly what... Uh, why I can't build it. Hold on, what's... What has happened? Oh. So I don't know what actually happened. I had to And go through there. Okay, hold on. Probably go. I'll go over there now. Okay, I got four roads. Yeah, I didn't know what happened. I had to restart the the game for that to show up again. Um, right, anyway. We in, in a proper game is going to look much much neater, but yeah, this is the we're still we're still learning how to how to play it. Uh, right, so eating house. Innkeeper works mostly at night when this is our own free time. You can see who is currently present at the inn by viewing the guest list. So, currently empty. This is where your citizen will find a partner. If a citizen has little energy, they will go home. A long sleep is best for recharging energy. Okay. So. Tutorial is finished. Doesn't seem to be... To be that bad. Well, not bad. That hard. So, yeah, I guess we will end this video here and we'll carry on with maybe another one or two videos of us actually playing a, a proper game. So, thank you guys for watching. If you, do, if you did like the video, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this from me. And yeah, catch you all in the next video.